Logic Pro for iPad version 2.1 is here. New plugin, new sounds, and new long awaited quality of life improvements. Here's everything you need to know. The original Quantec Room Simulator was created back in 1982 by Wolfgang Wolf Buckliner. Buchleitner. Capable of incredibly transparent and realistic recreations of room acoustics, the QRS quickly became a favourite in the music industry and was used by loads of artists like Peter Gabriel and Kate Bush. In 1997, Wolfgang followed up the QRS with the Yardstick 2402, which featured an updated version of his famous QRS reverb algorithm in a fully digital package. Apple acquired Quantec and their tech a wee while back and have now turned these rare and coveted hardware effects into an easily accessible plugin inside Logic Pro. And it's absolutely incredible. This kind of transparency, accuracy and depth of control is the kind of thing people would pay a pretty penny for. Some unofficial plugin recreations of the QRS and its reverb algorithms on desktop go for upwards of $150. To have something of this quality added to Logic for free as a stock plugin is amazing. I have a full deep dive of Logic's Quantic Room Simulator plugin on the way. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. But for now, here are some standout features. The reverb time in both the QRS and Yardstick versions of the plugin is tied directly to the room size control. The bigger the room size, the more reverb time you'll be able to add.
Both versions also have this freeze control, which will capture a snapshot of the current reverb tail, which creates a lovely, almost drone-like effect. You can then use the add button here to capture a new reverb tail and add it to the currently looped signal. Lovely stuff. Finally, if you tap on the Quantic logo in either version of the plugin, you'll be able to learn about Wolf and the story behind Quantic Room Simulator. I think it's really great that Apple have chosen to preserve the legacy of Wolfgang and his inventions in this way. Right, this is a big one. Since the 1.0 release of Logic Pro for iPad last year, one of the biggest issues users have had is the clunky way Logic handles importing samples. Previously, we had to use the Files app and Slide Over or Split View to get our files into Logic, and there was no way to audition the files we wanted to bring in before importing them. It was really, really frustrating. Well, now you can access your collection of samples directly from Logic's browser. When you open the browser in Logic 2.1, where the Get More Sound section used to be is now the Your Sound section, where you can quickly access any recently used sounds and access your sample folders. You can see I already have one loaded up here. If I want to add another one, I just need to tap here and select Add a Sample Folder from the menu. This will open a shortcut to the Files app where I can select this sample pack that I downloaded earlier. Then I just need to select the folder and then tap Open. Now the folder is accessible from Logic's browser across projects, and I can even audition the individual samples from the pack before I bring them into my song. <laughs> Fantastic stuff, and proof if it was needed that the music production team at Apple do actually listen to our feedback. Modular Melodies is an all new sound pack that arrives alongside the 2.1 version of Logic Pro for iPad. This pack includes over 250 Apple loops and more than 20 Alchemy synth patches. Evolving arpeggios and hypnotizing sequences are the name of the game here, and Apple are keen to point out that the sounds from this pack pair well with the samples, loops, and kits in the modular rhythm sound pack. The loops here are really good if you like that sort of thing, and include a nice mix of modular synth samples and patterns, which of course you can jump in and fine tune using Logic's step sequencer. The 22 alchemy patches here are particularly interesting though. As usual, each patch allows you to use alchemy's transform pad to adjust its sound in real time. However, each of the eight sections in these patches transform pads offers such different sounds that it's almost like having eight sub presets for each modular melodies patch you load up. New sound packs are always welcome, especially when they contain sounds and instruments that are as good as these. 
I don't have the full patch notes in front of me, but there are a number of new features and quality of life improvements in this new update that are worth talking about. You can now reorder channel strips in Logic Pro for iPad Mixer by tapping, holding and dragging them. You can even select multiple channel strips at once and reorder them together. You can also reorder plugin tiles directly in the plugins area without opening edit mode, again by tapping, dragging and dropping them. The bounce in place dialog now includes a destination file pop-up menu with options to bounce regions to a single file, one file per track or one file per selected region. In the Session Player Editor, the Perform Again button is now called Regenerate. The name is shown as text on the button. In addition to using the loop switch in the Region Inspector, you can loop and unloop a selected region using the loop command in the Region Shortcut menu. And the Lesson Browser now includes two new lessons. One serves as an intro to the new Quantic Room Simulator plugin, and the other introduces the user to some of the new features in Logic Pro for iPad version 2.1. They've also added in an in-progress row to the Lesson Browser, which shows lessons that have been started but not completed. And that's all the major new features in Logic Pro for iPad version 2.1. Let me know what you're going to be trying out first and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss in-depth videos on all of this stuff coming up really soon. And if you've still got time, keep watching for a link to another video that I think you'll find really interesting.